I only once in my life met Feynman and we had a long conversation and one of the many things we discussed was uh, the future of physics. And he, he said, I, I mentioned something about, well, the great physicists do this or that. He said that there will be no, no more great physicists. And I, I was shocked and I said, why? Uh, and, and he said, because of physics education. And hmm. he said that um, what I've just said, I, I, he put it much more in, in a much better way than I'm putting it now. But basically he said that physics education, uh, to get through the sieve of physics education, to get to studying fundamental things, one has to become, basically one has to think in the prescribed way about physics. Whereas in his day, uh, it was almost the opposite. You, you, you got to the top by thinking a di in a different way. It's true that you had to be expert in certain ways. Being different from everyone else was kind of, that's what they were looking for. And I, I think that's very true, although I would not be so pessimistic as to say uh, that there will be no more great physicists. I, I just think of this phenomenon as one of many, you know, bad things happen in the world and that's one of them, but they, they can be fixed.